hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be discussing something very important uh it's been going on about passport bros guys to be frank i literally got to know about passport bros like today so i'll be doing like maybe like a couple videos on it and okay i've done the uh, what a passport bro is i had to find out what it actually is because well what do you expect i'm here in nigeria so a lot of things that are problems in the Western world is not a, it's not our cup of tea because we don't even know what that means. We're just living happily here, doing our thing, you know, trying to better ourselves. So, so this video today, um, we have Brent explaining to Ben Shapiro what a passport bro is. Cause even him is in the West and he know not about it. So who am I to who am I not to who am I to talk? So let's check it out. So, uh, let's check oh, let's Oh, you have passport bros? What is a passport? Okay, passport bros are men that are so fed up with Western women because we're all apparently so woke and so terrible and Western women don't want to be wives that they are now going to other countries to find wives. That's like which countries? Southeast Asia, the Philippines, the Dominican Republic. So it's like the opposite of the mail order bride. Yes, like, exactly. Okay, so yes. instead of ordering out, instead of using stamps.com. Yes, <laughs> and bringing them here. Right, they're, they're like, they're we want to get out. It's more expensive, but... Okay. It is. And so a lot of these men get remote jobs and so they go there and they live in these... There's something better for it's actually expensive and to be frank it's more expensive so i've seen a lot of clips where these women are saying because they don't have enough money they na 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 they, they cannot compete with the modern women of course with the women what modern women have money so this passport bros cannot afford to cater to them but do you know how much it takes to do you know how much it costs guys i'm here in nigeria for a nigerian to travel to america even for an American to travel down to Nigeria, it's a lot of money. The, the visa is not beans. It's very expensive. So maybe they don't. They should go and check their parts, right? And <laughs> they don't know what it means because passport bros are not cheap too. Those guys are. That means they have money for them to be doing that. Countries and then they meet these women and then women in the Western world specifically the United States are so pissed off about it and they're like, "You're going to all these countries where these women don't even know how to speak English. They can't even read." So um, I think it's something I need to even talk of, about that that those Western women saying that these foreign women don't know how to speak English. They don't know anything. I think for me, it speaks more about them not even not even knowing about other countries. They sit so they are like sitting high on their horses that they don't want to even t educate themselves about other countries. For, for, for instance, here in Nigeria, every school in Nigeria here, like, guys, I mean, virtually every school in Nigeria teach, they, teach, they teach in English. I've not seen any school in Nigeria where they, they even use, because we have, we have, all, like, we have several languages here in Nigeria. Over 200 languages in Nigeria. So which, which language do you want to speak? So English is our official language. So what are you saying that, so when I hear them say that, African don't know how to speak English. I just laugh. <laughs> I laugh in English. <laughs> They're so uneducated. And then the men like film themselves with these women and like show themselves on dates. And the women are so elegant and they're so well spoken and they're so traditional. And they're like, look at these women. Yeah, passport bros. Because okay. Western women are so bad. Hmm. Did not know about that. Yeah. I mean, That's why I'm here. Mm, interesting. I mean, I, I, I did marry a, a woman from abroad. I mean, she, she was been in America since she was 12, but uh -huh. still, she's Israeli. So. There you go. Yeah. You're like a reverse passport, bro. Yeah, exactly. Well, she came here and she got citizenship, so. Yeah. You didn't import her? I did, I did not import my, my wife. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, first of all, can we can we comment on Ben Shapiro and, and Brent's resemblance? Like, if I didn't know, I, I would think that they are siblings. Like, Ben is the elder brother and Brent, Brent is a younger sister. Guys, like, take a look at them. Oh my god, like, they look so alike. Am I the only one seeing this, guys? Guys, just... Like, maybe comment in the comment section. I would love to know. Am I the only one seeing the resemblance here? I know I'm going off topic. Bear with me, but we'll just come back in a minute. But, like, I'm just so stoked on their resemblance. Like, take a look at the two of them. Oh my god. And outside the resemblance... They seem to be both. Both of them are smart. So, 
Are you sure they're not siblings? Maybe they need to take a DNA test and prove to us if they're siblings or not. <laughs> That's an enlightened note. Well, okay, back to passport bros, guys. Let me know in the comment section. I would love to know what your experience is. Um, like, what do you think the Western women and the foreign women, what do you think are the difference? Why do you think passport bros are seeking out foreign women? I don't blame them if you ask me because, come to think of it, Every modern uh, Western woman, everybody that are claiming to be feminist, they, I don't need men, I don't want men, I can take care of myself, blah blah blah, blah blah bam. What do you expect? So, you expect the same guys to be chasing after you when you are so stubborn, you don't even want to play your womanly, uh, um, you don't even want to play your womanly part because apparently. Women are meant to be, women are men, women can do what a man can do. So, what do you expect? See. Come to think of it, a woman can never be a man. If you like, go up and come down. Men are not women. Women are not men. No matter what your science, no matter what, because now the Western world are beginning to define what science is. They all, they all, they are beginning to have different definition of what a woman is and what a man is. Guys, let me, let me not, let me not lie to you. It's all those things are only happening in the Western world. <laughs> Here in Nigeria, let me speak for Nigeria because I'm in Nigeria and I'm living in Nigeria. Born and brought up in Nigeria. We know, we are not fighting that. We know what a man is and we know what a woman is. <laughs> and we, can, we are not confusing the two of them. No, no. No, no. And, and I, don't even, I don't even like all the fact that I'm seeing traditional woman and modern woman. Guys, here in Nigeria, we are women. We are women. And we know that fact. We are not disputing that fact. We are not struggling with anybody. We are not defining anything for anybody. The way it has been, the way it has been set up from the initial start of the world, a woman is a woman and a man is a man. An adult female, adult male, chicken, simple, capish. That is the way it sees. We are not confusing that. So you can keep your modernized words yourself, even though some of our women are beginning to pick up on your traits. But 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 no matter what they can they will not they are no more than the 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 let me use your term let me borrow your term the modern women we have here in Nigeria they are not even they are no more than the traditional women no we still know our values we still know we are cultural people and we love we love to uphold our cultures no yeah so allow us to be the way we want to be don't tell us or some of them say eh the the men are oppressing the women no. Nobody's oppressing anybody here. Funnily enough, the women here, even the women in Nigeria, most, in most states, you see why you have more women even going to school than men. So, who is oppressing who? Nobody's oppressing anybody. I'm beginning to talk too much there. So, I would love to hear what your opinions are in the comment section. What do you think? What do you, why do you think passport bros are living? So, until I call you next time, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Be you, do you. Take care of yourself. Bye.